Hey everybody, welcome to this new playthrough of City Skylines. We'll be playing on the Stingray Bay map and the idea is to have a big population, at least 50,000, with 90% push traffic with despawning disabled in the traffic mod manager. I do have a little bit of DLC but not too much, I've got industries and park life. I've not played this game in about 3 months, hopefully I'll be able to make some good progress and share that all with you and if I record it I might stick up the city for a while. So here we go, hope you enjoy the video. So here we are in Stingray Bay, as you can see it's very grassy, quite a few trees, there's a nice river going into between the sea to the south, let's go into the world map view. So here's the sea, we're going to be building up a nice cruise ship over there probably, a nice cruise area. There's also a lake to the top right which I think looks like a stingray. Here's our own tile, this is a matter of resources not overly too many and I always like to save it at the start as well it's okay just to load the map okay so first things first the usual so what roads have we got we've got this big old highway coming in coming in going all the way over there and then we've got is that a non ramp? It's not just a roundabout. People can come down this big road. No, this is an exit. They can, they can exit our city through here. They can go all the way up here. They can also go round the roundabout and they can go this way. And you can also enter the roundabout from this direction and enter the city. So the way in is either up here or through this road here. And this road here comes off the highway. And then there's a nice train track there. Okay, I like that. So first things first, what everyone does, we make a road, that's great, and then we I'm not play this game in months, find the bulldozers and remove it. So let's do Let's do what we usually do, what I usually do. So I usually do a... I don't really like using grids. I'm actually going to do something a little bit controversial. I'm going to upgrade that, upgrade that. And then I'm going to take this road and come out basically towards the sea or rather this river and ideally eventually we're going to end up circling back onto that road but for now we'll end up over here and then have a nice bend a nice bend here use move it mod just to make that a bit more fitting of the cliffs Move that over there, move that over there. Like so. Now I'm gonna come down round here. I'm gonna come down round the shore. And this is not a big connector road, so keep that in mind. And then I'm going to come round here, following that. That will be perfect. And that is going to be the main outline for the city. It's going to be a huge road like this. I should expect we will wind up connecting there. So that's some of the outline. Now, what we need to do is figure out what we're going to do for energy. So we're going to have some coal in this area, which will be industrial area. I could use dirt roads, but I'm a bad man, so I won't. This will be where the coal is. So there'll be a little turn around here. In fact, in fact, in fact, in fact, 
should probably build a coal close to the main highway. We should probably build it somewhere around here. This is where all the the connections are. And that's to actually go around and go onto that road. And this will move onto here. Alright, alright, I like that. So we're gonna go for the coal power plant. I'm gonna build that over here. And then what we're going to do is need water. So which way does the water go? Water's going down that way. So we're going to do water pumping station. Will be... I like that rock actually. It'll be here. And then we're going to do the drain pipe way downstream. I don't want to pollute the sea though. But tough. I'm going to have to. I don't have the um, ability not to. So that's going to be way over here. I'm going to put some piping in. This is going to be a pipe. Everyone knows, thanks to Phil, that you place pipes under roads. I hope I won't run out of cash. Knowing me, I will. So that's that. And then we just need power. And the power will go from here. To here and then the power needs to run just temporarily across here over here and then across there and then down here down the back of these houses will be houses it's going to go all the way down this nice road all the way down here. It's going to cross the road. Go down to here, and that should be it. We also need to make sure budgets are appropriate, i.e., not much. And then you start thinking about some zoning. That will be the source of power. Cables down here, water there. We could do a few more power lines going from here. Just along the back. That will all be housing. And then on the front, around here. These should only be temporary. And then again, we want to cross the road, just like the chicken, and then we want to connect those together. That's not great, but whatever. And let's see, let's just check the roads are all okay. I don't really need that little Thomas way. We've got a way in. And now unfortunately it's very awkward at the moment to actually go back on yourself. So I'm going to add in a little bend here. And that little bend will allow people to leave the city. So that's good, I like that. You can have more of them eventually. I'm a big fan of these one-way roads because I think with roundabouts you can end up having a recipe for disaster. What we also need is to extend the power lines a bit here just to about there and then let's also put some pipes in for this area. And that should be enough for now. We've got a little bit in the bank just in case something's gone horribly wrong. Over on that, I think we should be okay. Now, where will people live? People will live. Let's see. People will live round here. 
so they're gonna live that should be okay around there and down this way they're gonna live here down this really nice place this will be where the nice houses go in fact i can just use the fill tool fill in those fill in that That shouldn't be too far from the pollution zone, but let's not risk it. And we'll build some housing here. And some housing down this way. This is where the nice properties are going to be. So I want the nice big brush. What I want is basically all this to be nice houses. This will be nice houses, and maybe even a nice waterfront eventually. Keyword, eventually, i.e. not yet. And then we'll introduce some connector roads. This can all still be houses, absolutely loads of room for houses. And probably put a few shops in as well, so what I'm going to do is introduce a few waterfront properties. So. I'm going to use the fill tool, that can be a business, you can be a business, you can be a business, you can be a business. So there's going to be plenty of room for businesses just dotted around the area. And then as we get a bit closer to this, we can put some businesses in as a little buffer. And then obviously the rest of it here will be industrial. Anything else I need to do? Should. Should be it. And now here we go. Let's see. So far, we got nothing. Somatic camera, nothing. Is anything going to happen? Who's this? It's Jeremy Campbell. We've actually got someone. He must have entered through the highway. Let's see what his route's like. He's going. Oh my word. He's going to the Glade residence, which is all the way over here. But he's a grounds worker at this gen- Oh, so that's annoying. He lives up here. Fits the one with system, he has to go all the way around. <laughs> he has to go all the way around. Let's go all the way around. This giant round of Oh, I've designed it terrible. That's, that's terrible. So what I might do is, when I've got the money, make it no longer one way, or add another little cut around. 
This is why you don't make everything one way, actually. Now, there's some more vehicles. I saw them. He's going to take that roundabout and come down. Yeah. Poor Jeremy. Now, there are people coming in now to this place. However, we need industry. So let's go to our industry area. And let's be lazy and let's just do all of this as industry. And we're going to see if that quenches the demand. So just on the one side. It's now raining. There he is. That's Howard Parker. Now, I do have realistic parking on. He's off to his nice house. I presume it's nice. He owns the Meadow Residence. Oh my god, where's he going? He's walking, going to the Meadow Residence. Oh no. So he lives there, right? Where's he going? Let's follow this person. Is he going to cross the road and go all the way back down there? He's now green. He is. So he has to walk all the way to that crossing. Oh no. There were no crossings anywhere on this road. <laughs> Apart from down there. We need some, okay, we need some crossings. What I might do is... Oh dear. Just make these all regular roads. Oh, that should be better. Keep that as one way. We need water over here. Ooh, shouldn't have zoned that. Because we've not built the pipes all the way up. If I had pipes from here, upwards and round, it would be perfect. I don't have the money to do that yet. We are still losing money. Can I get a loan yet? No. We're spending a lot of money on roads and power. What we need is more people to come in and start paying taxes. So we do have power all the way up to here. It's the logic there. We can put some zoning up to about there. And in theory, we can do it all the way up to where the pipe ends. Because the houses will basically generate power for the neighbours somehow. So we can hopefully zone all the way up to here. Where the pipe stops. Just a little bit less than that. Perfect. Once we're in the green, we'll start to optimise this. So these industrial areas are all terrible. We're not going to make water any time soon. But what we can do is get water here. And that'll cause pollution. So what I really need is like a loan to just put some piping up here. What we can do is Hamilton Thomas Highway. Speed things up a little bit. See how things are going down here. So they can all park up nicely. There's not really a good turnaround place on this road, however, is there? So let's see how this guy's going. He's driving home to the Meadow Resident, which is again all the way here. So he's got to go all the way around. So making get a two way didn't actually help. You basically need like a little area where they can just turn around.
They're probably not happy because they have their massive long commutes. Absolute disaster. We'll dezone that and we'll say industrial. You know what? This bit here is going to be made industrial. Ooh, but it's near the houses. Ah, oh, it's just a nightmare. We'll make, we'll dezone this. Make that office. Make that industrial. I can industrial this bit and this bit. I think that's going to be enough. So we want to make use of all the all the area we can. Now where else have we got pipes? It's nowhere. Oh, there's a huge demand for industrial. It may feel very controversial and uh, actually make another area pure industrial. It actually has water and stuff. However, we are now making a profit. So all I've got to do actually is wait. So we can wait, piping around here and then some turnaround spots we'll go up a little bit and then go around like this and people can turn around here so that's good that's good chief phil will survive for my first time playing months I usually have to give up completely Yes, let's get them pipes in. Now what a nice pipe here. Now I'll start zoning a little bit. Okay, great. Now industrial. Finally, you've got access to water around here. That'll keep you going for ages. Not too keen on this bit here. That's. I don't like these little tiny areas. Get rid of that. Let's add in that turnaround mode I've been talking about. It's going to be a nice turnaround road. But not a grid, because I don't like grids everywhere. There's going to be a way to turn around, literally halfway. It's going to go up here. There's going to be one up here. Now, I know I'm destroying the power lines, but it's not a problem at the moment. And then we're going to go up here. And then we're going to go nowhere for now so there's a, there's a turnaround points it should be okay for now they're being used as parking areas move that a little bit let's just tidy up the zoning so let's remove the zoning then there Okay, that's fine. Remove that. Remove that, that. Now what we might do next is add in another nice little turnaround area. And then one round here. And then one here. And then 
I can start to zone out this area at the top. And I'm being very rough intentionally, I don't need to be precise. Alright, that's good. Nice little areas coming off here as well. So let's make sure we have pipes going all the way around the top. Then we can start to zone these areas out as well. I've taken a shortcut to the road placement, the pipe placement rather. I don't need to connect this bit, so I won't. And we're going to go up there, up there. And just make sure there's power around. So there will be power from these houses as I zone out, so maybe that's okay. So we're going to zone out, we're going to zone out up here. I don't really need that to be zoned. All that. And then we're going to zone up here. And zone up here. And you know what? We can basically zone all the way around. Because eventually they will move in, there will be power. So Summit Street's getting a lot of residential for now. Great, so we can have taxes, loans, garbage, healthcare, education, and these buildings. What I'm going to do next, I've got a big cash injection, but now I need to plant the new buildings because we have those new unlocks, comes new demand. Alright everyone, so that wrap things up for the first video. Hopefully the next video we're placing more pipes down and actually using that nice big cash injection to cater to the new demands of the populace. Hope you all enjoyed the video, stick around if so, and look out for episode 2 in the future. Thank you all for watching, bye for now.